Do you have digestive issues like gas, bloating, belching after meals, diarrhea, constipation, massive amounts of food sensitivities, nausea, heartburn, acid reflux, autoimmune conditions, do you need coffee to have a bowel movement every day, or significant cravings? More than three or four of the above would indicate a moderate gut dysfunction and in my opinion should be addressed. So in this video, I'm gonna share three ways why a poor gut function is actually sabotaging your hormones. Make sure you stay until the end to learn the three tips on how to nourish and heal your gut and further support the health of your hormones. Hi, I'm Dr. Alicia McPherson, a naturopathic doctor, and I support the health, hormones, and metabolism of high-performing, ambitious women. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when I release new videos every week. One of the main pillars for hormonal health is gut health, because if your gut has significant dysfunctions, then your hormones stand at zero chance of being balanced. And the root of a lot of hormonal conditions stems right in your gut. Some might say the gut microbiome may be the most important player in the endocrine system. I also find gut imbalances to be a huge cause of weight gain. Now, in terms of hormonal health, why do we even care here? So in the video, I'm gonna share three big reasons why a healthy gut is so important for hormones. Number one is your gut microbiome and estrogen. A lot of hormones are metabolized and eliminated via the digestive system. For example, if you are constipated, you're gonna have a lot of trouble clearing estrogen out of your body. That means the estrogen often gets recirculated back into the body, leading to this estrogen dominance picture. Constipation is one of the main causes for estrogen dominance, which may lead you with some symptoms such as heavy and painful periods, irritability, breast tenderness, PMS, moodiness. The estrobolum is a collection of microbes that help metabolize estrogen. Your estrobiome produces an enzyme called beta-glucuronidase. This is what converts estrogen into its active form. So when we have estrogen dominating symptoms like heavy painful periods, breast tenderness, irritability, PMS symptoms, it's often due to elevated beta-glucuronidase levels. When the gut microbiome is healthy, the estrobolum produces just the right amount of beta-glucuronidase. However, when gut dysbiosis is present, beta-glucuronidase levels may be altered. This can either cause an excess or deficiency in estrogen, both with significant symptoms. Number two is your gut and your thyroid. Problems occur when your gut lining, your intestinal barrier becomes permeable. Like leaky gut syndrome, now these particles are going to escape the GI system and enter your bloodstream. Since these particles obviously don't belong here, your immune system is going to initiate an attack. Leaky gut syndrome plays a huge role in the development of Hashimoto's and other autoimmune conditions. Intestinal dysbiosis is a imbalance in the good Good and bad bacteria in your gut. It can significantly reduce the conversion from T4 to active T3 and cause thyroid dysfunction. Inflammation in the gut also reduces T3 by raising cortisol levels, which reduces active T3 and increases inactive T3. So another issue is when we have chronic constipation. This is going to impair hormone clearance and increase estrogen levels. This is going to in turn raise the thyroid binding globulin hormone and decrease the amount of free thyroid hormones available to the body. Furthermore, low thyroid function is actually going to lead to constipation, increasing inflammation and malabsorption. Number three is the gut dysbiosis and PCOS. Any issues in gut microbiota in women with PCOS may actually increase androgen levels and decrease estrogen levels. So this dysbiosis is going to trigger the immune system to create inflammation, which is going to affect insulin and affect testosterone levels. Okay, let's cover three tips on how you can start healing your digestive system. Number one, you need to eliminate all food sensitivities and inflammatory foods. If you are not removing the foods that are causing this issue, it's just going to re-trigger that inflammation into your body. Having a food sensitivity test or working with a naturopath doctor or functional medicine practitioner to really customize this plan to see what foods you are actually sensitive to could be a great idea. Top foods that I consider to be very inflammatory for all women with hormonal issues are sugar, dairy, gluten, processed foods, and alcohol. Research has shown that a shift in your diet can alter microbial levels within 24 hours. Number two is you want to repair. So you want to repair your gut lining by doing some nutrient-dense superfoods and supplements such as bone broth which is loaded with vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and helps regulate the immune system and decrease inflammation. L-glutamine, which helps heal the intestinal lining. DGL, which is a form of licorice and helps support the mucosal lining. And slippery elm and marshmallow root, which heals and coats the stomach lining. And number three, we want to nourish. So you wanna make sure you're having a ton of anti-inflammatory foods in the diet, fermented food, healthy anti-inflammatory fats, lean protein sources, and probiotic-packed foods. All right, do we have any kombucha lovers on here? Leave in the comments 
below yes if you love kombucha. All right, thank you so much for listening. That was the top three reasons why a poor digestive system is affecting your hormones and three tips on how to heal your digestive system. All right, thank you so much for listening. I hope that was useful. To get more information on how to heal your hormones, check out my free guide for ambitious women to start healing hormones, master metabolism, lose this extra weight and have unlimited energy. I'll leave the link below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to be notified when I release new videos every single week. Bye.